With my period just around the corner, I'd like to talk about PMS. Hi, I'm Venetia, Mira Sex Hormones Tester, and this is day 22 of my cycle. But before I get into today's topic, let's take a look at my hormones. I only tested with the Max One today, and that's going to help me track my LH, E3G, and PDG levels. And a quick look at the chart shows me that everything is trending downward. My LH lowered to a two, my E3G is down from a 203 point eight to now a 68 and my PDG is down from 30 to 8.7. I've noticed my estrogen still runs a little higher than I expected during my luteal phase, but now since everything is downtrending, I'm assuming my period may start earlier than the 13th, but we'll see. My mood today is a five out of 10, motivation and productivity at a three out of 10, sex drive is at a two out of 10, and self-confidence is at a four out of 10. I feel pretty good, but I'm a little bloated and sometimes get a little dizzy. I think it just has to do with the cold weather and then going into warm spaces. Who knows? Maybe I should drink a little bit more water too now that I'm thinking about it. So the days leading up to my period are always a gamble. I actually have really severe fluctuations in my mood, which may cause me to have an adult tantrum on some days. It usually starts because I feel like I just can't keep up with the world around me and I feel a little bit out of control, which is perfectly natural, right? We all go through these feelings. So what I tend to do is I start to slow down and I end up desiring more time alone, more time for myself. A lot of cravings kick in and I turn to comfort and convenience when it comes to food, especially if I let any meal planning slip to the wayside. I haven't always been like this though. During my teens and even when I was on the pill, I didn't really experience much in the PMS department. Sure, I'd feel a bit achy and a little moody, but it was nothing to really write home about or create that much concern around, to be that honest. But maybe looking back, I was just accustomed to ignoring it and pushing through. And memory is funny like that sometimes. But as I got older, and especially after I quit the pill, my PMS symptoms worsened. I don't think I properly prepared my body for such an abrupt change after quitting the pill cold turkey because I had no idea what effects it had on my body and my sex hormones in the first place. My cramps became so unmanageable and don't even get me started on the depression that would creep in. But since becoming more aware of these things and as they've been coming up, I've been finding ways to manage but not fully control my PMS symptoms. So for now, I try my best to eat a nutrient-dense diet, move when I can, stick to a semi-regular sleep schedule, and warn my partner when things start to get a little testy. But overall, I think it's normal for us to feel a little out of control when it comes to our bodies and especially our hormonal fluctuations. After all, there are plenty of things outside of us that we can't control, like other people's expectations, standards, projections, right? So when we feel out of control, it's just best to remember that some things can just be as they are and we can sit back and observe them learn from them, and take the action that we feel capable of and available for moving forward. 